EA Sports and the RNA are proud to present third round coverage of the Open Championship. So we're getting set now for the second nine here at the old course at St. Andrews. And Frank, a chance to get off to a good start here with the short par 4 10th. Yeah, it's a very subtle hole. Uh, it just looks straight ahead in front of you, but there is gorse down the left if you stray, especially into a head breeze. But really, it's drivable for most of the players. Um, just got to worry about those two bunkers, the sort of short right of the green. You finish up there, then uh, this hole becomes a little more difficult. This is a good looking shot. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Well, not in contention, but in for par. Hole number 11, the Eden, is really the finest medium-length one-shotter in all of golf, isn't it, Frank? Well, this hole's been copied uh, by many an architect for the reasons why is it's normally very, very difficult to make a hole of this length, or should I say this short, so difficult. But uh, they've managed to do that here at Eden with that Strath bunker in the front and the severe sloping on either side of that bunker. That can really be brutal, can it? It certainly does. And um, if you have any doubt there, it'll you'll come unstuck at 11. How does that not go in? Amazing. Stroke looked good. Uh, line looked good. Just did not take that final break. Not a gimme, but well within his range. And he makes it for par. Frank, from this vantage point here at the 12th, you can see why the old course, St. Andrews, are so iconic in the sport. Yeah, this is a, a fun hole as we start to sort of head back to the village of St. Andrews. Hole's called Heathery. There's a big crop of heather on the left, and there's four little pot bunkers that are in the middle of this fairway, so you've really got to be cognizant of those. But good time to take the head cover off if you're a long hitter, and then you've only got to worry about that one pot bunker just short of the game. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. And getting ready for the putt. Good putt. Here at the par four, 13th hole at the old course, Frank, what's the best play, power, or do you go with precision? Well, you'd like a nice mixture of both there, Rich. If you can take those coffins out of play, that's the name for those series of bunkers sort of down the middle, then obviously you've got a much shorter shot coming in, and then you've got a chance to actually have a full view of the screen. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball, and this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Surely not. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. It's no snack, though. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Good roll. Frank, what's the strategy here at the 14th? If you can't go for this uh, par five and two, Rich, um, there is another option where you can go left. And I mean left of left. That's down the fourth fairway. That's uh, across the Elysian Fields, um, as they call it, which is a, a set of sort of hu uh, hummocks that run down the middle. And uh, you can find a flat lie there and come across at about a 45 degree angle for your third shot to 14. And his second shot with par five.
Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Appears to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. And it makes the green in regulation. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. That's a nice roll, and with that birdie, now two under par for the tournament. Back here at the 15th, and Frank, this fairway narrows up in a hurry. And it's also, uh, it, there's a big crop of heather that sort of constrains you if you're going to hit it just straight down the middle. Only the brave go down the right side. Um, brings in those little bunkers called robs, and uh, they'll rob your scorecard, that's for sure. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Frank starting to make the move. Leaderboard very volatile at the moment. So a lot of move in that middle piece of the leaderboard. Top 20 so far. 